temperature is well below freezing for the next couple of days. It could become dangerously cold if your home loses power and there are outages that we are tracking right now in Montgomery County. Our Scott Broom is in one of those affected neighborhoods. Scott, I know you've been checking in on this all morning. Good morning to you. What can you tell us? Well, good morning, Nicole. Last time I talked with you, it was six degrees here on Nelson Street in Rockville, and it is still six degrees, single digits, really cold. Uh, a handful of houses here on this street uh, have the power out. They've been out all night. My partner behind the camera, Deanna Washington, is going to show you way up here. You can see that power pole is broken. There were two poles broken here when a tree came down yesterday and on the ground here. They've been made safe. These these power lines are not energized, but they're lying on the ground and that has resulted in six, I uh, believe maybe seven houses here on the street without power. These houses have been dark all night and of course no power frequently means no heat because you need power to run the furnaces and the thermostats and all the rest of that. As a result, Montgomery County had to open a shelter last night and go door to door in some of the most impacted neighborhoods. They told me this morning that the Plumgar Community Center took in at least 38 residents uh, that had been collected up because they were in homes without heat. Uh, so a pretty serious situation here in Montgomery County, even though these outages are scattered. According to PEPCO, the total count, uh, 2,366 people without power in the Maryland suburbs right now. Over in Northern Virginia, about 2,200 people. So the outages are just like this one. They're scattered, might be two, three, or five homes affected. But if you're in one of these homes waking up at six, seven, eight degrees this morning, and the heat has not been running, that can be a serious problem. So. Uh, uh, folks are trying to deal with this today and counting the minutes until the power can come back on so they can get the houses reheated, get back inside, get comfortable, and hope that the pipes don't burst if it starts freezing inside. So a serious situation for those affected today after yesterday's severe weather. The power companies promise they're working on it as quickly as they can. Reporting live in Rockville, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, and we certainly are grateful to those companies working on this holiday weekend. Scott, thank you.